At such competitions, organizers usually leave the most interesting things for the last day. Dual finals are the cherry on top of the World Horting Championship. Children competing at the 2018 International Hoarding Competition in Latvia face off in protective gear. Adults, however, have minimum protection. In the first round, the fighters wear boxing gloves and headshots are allowed. In the second round, the gloves come off and only hits to the body are permitted, including chokeholds. This part of the duel is called honor. To win a match, a fighter's opponent must tap out. The world champion in the category of up to 85 kilograms, Maxim Shulo, achieved this when he himself was already injured. The coach gives us orders and we must carry them out. We are like soldiers. He said that we shouldn't upset him, so I couldn't upset him. I had to endure it and win in any case to make every effort to get this victory. This year, Ukraine's national martial art is turning 10 years old. One of the sports veterans, Volodymyr Shevchuk, draws a parallel of the development of Horting with the words from the song Ukraine Has Not Yet Perished, the first verse and chorus of which became the country's national anthem. In the second verse, there are words, We'll stand, brothers, in bloody battle, from the Sion to the dawn. We will not allow others to rule our motherland. And in the next verse, our persistence and our sincere toils will be rewarded. And the most important words will show that we, brothers, are of the Cossack nation. 280 fighters from 15 countries took part in the competition. Overall, Ukrainians won 134 medals, 52 of which were gold. It's the same in all national kinds of sports. Sumo champions are Japanese, Taekwondo champions are Korean. Of course, we will hold this position for as long as possible so that the Ukrainian team will always be first and always show good results. The champion of the competition was the Ukrainian national team, with Latvia and Lithuania coming in second and third.